In today's video, I created a working jet ski inside build a boat for treasure. A jet ski is unlike any other boat in the game. It can become extra fast and has a lot more maneuverability. This jet ski has some super cool surfer mechanics as it goes up as it accelerates. With its speed, you can also fly in the air for a short period of time. This is more of an advanced build as much of the tools will be used in the tutorial. And before we get to the video, I want to thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. That's absolutely insane. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. It's completely free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy. So guys, we're back inside of build a for treasure and we have a working jet ski over here. And as you guys saw from the intro, this thing can actually go really, really fast. So as you guys can see, you guys can go really speed with the jet ski. And it just took a few seconds just to get from that end to this end. So let's go ahead and try this again. And as you guys can see, we can just go pretty fast with this thing. And it has some two mini little thrusters over here and it creates a big trail. But anyways, as you guys may know, as I accelerate, this jet ski actually moves up, which actually gives it a really cool effect where it goes super fast that it actually moves up. This jet ski looks fairly simple, but it actually has some really advanced mechanics built into it. It's a really good way of getting around the map if you guys want to like show off to your friends that you have a nice jet ski and you guys can just get to other teams in just a few seconds. So now there's a little bit extra thrust in here if you guys actually want to go faster with this jet ski and it makes a big flame effect. So let's go ahead and test it out and we're going to go super fast like that. As you guys can see, it just creates a big flame and you guys just go like two times faster. So anyways, this jet ski is fairly simple. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. First, I'm going to talk about the tools that you guys will be needing. So you guys will be needing the wrench tool, the scale tool, and the screwdriver tool. For the materials, you guys will be needing the old wheels from the Legacy car pack. You guys will need titanium, plastic, a thruster, torches, three servos, and I think that's basically it for the materials. So let's go ahead and build it. So the first thing that you guys want to do when you guys are building this thing is place down a rod like this. Then go ahead and get a titanium block and place it down. Next, use the scale tool and scale this until it's six studs. By the way, if you don't know what studs are, it's in the left middle next to the scale tool if you click on this plus button. And let's go ahead and scale it to six and you guys should be seeing six. And then after that, you guys want to scale it down to 12. And there we go. As you guys can see on the third one, it says 12. Next, we're going to be getting our servo. So let's go ahead and get it. Find the middle of this titanium block by clicking on it with the scale tool and just get your servo right here. And I think right here was the middle. And then what you guys want to do is move one over to the right and then just tilt it until you have it faced like this. And there we go. You guys should have it faced like this. Next, just get a plastic block and get it right here. Place it on top and scale down one time. Then we're going to be placing a plastic block at the back and the front. So go ahead and place one right here and one right here and then scale in towards the middle like this on each side then scale up until five studs so there we go we got our five studs and we're gonna go right here five studs next we are gonna be placing a block right here we're gonna scale down one time and then we're just gonna scale all the way to the other side until we get six studs then we're gonna be going ahead and getting our servos so let's go ahead and place one right here and one right here now we're gonna be placing a titanium block on each side of these plastic blocks so one right here and one right here then we're going to set our scale to 0 0.1 and just type it in. We're just going to scale it all the way down like this. Then we're going to scale our scale to back to 1. Let me just do it real quick. And then we're just going to scale out until 5 studs. So 1, 2, 3. That should give us 5. And we're just going to do the same for the back. Then we're going to scale it evenly, 10 studs. So we're just going to go, let's see, 4 studs on each side. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to do the same for the front. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Now we're just going to select this plastic block and put our scale back to 0 0.1. And we're just going to scale up one singular time. So there we go. One time. Now we're going to be getting our titanium and we're going to place um, one on each side. So let's go ahead and get uh, our move to 0 0.5. And then we're going to place it one right here, one right there, right here, and right here. Now keep your move on 0.5 and just have it align and go up one time like this on each side. And this we're only going to be doing for the two front wheels. So now what you guys want to do is get this and scale it all the way in with 0.1 scale. And there we go. 
Then we're just going to be getting our wheels. So we're just going to be placing it directly on this. So put your move back to one and just place it right on these titanium um, squares. And then we're just going to delete these titanium squares. Then we're going to be placing wheels on the back. So go ahead and put your move to 0 0.5. Have it aligned and then move up one time. And there we go. And we're just going to do the same for this side. Move up one time. And there we go. And then we're just going to be placing another wheel to make it extra speedy. So put your move back to one and just have another wheel on each of the four wheels. And there we go. Now we're going to be connecting the servos to the wheels. So go ahead and get a plastic block out. We're going to place one right here and one right here. We're going to put our scale to 0 0.5. Scale in one time. Scale in one time. Then scale all the way in like this. Then we're just going to scale all the way down. Then we're going to be setting our scale to 1 and we're just going to scale out until here, right here. And then you guys should have your um, studs on 5. So go ahead and scale out on the other side until it's 5 and there we go. Then we're just going to be placing a plastic block on top of these. And we're just going to set our scale back to 0 0.5 and scale all the way in. Just like this. And then just scale down one time on each side. So we're just going to go right here and scale down. Then just scale this block into this block so it'll be connected. So I'm just going to do this for the other side too and there we go. Now that we have all the basic mechanics down, we're just going to be actually doing the build. So go ahead and place a plastic block on top of here but before that put your merging level onto red. Then place it and there we go. But before we do that we're actually going to raise this plastic block one more time. So we're going to set our scale to 0 0.1. And we're just going to scale right here one time up. So you guys should have um, 1.2 as your scale. Now we can work on it. So go ahead and place a plastic block on top of here. Put your scale to 1. Then we're just going to scale um, 4 times on each side. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. After we have this basic shape, we are going to now make the jet ski. So go ahead and put your rotate on 45 degrees. Tilt one time and place a block right here. Then scale in, scale in. And now that we have this, go ahead and place a block right over here. Put your scale, no, put your move on a 0 0.5 and place it right here. Scale in one time, scale in all the way. And now that we have that, go ahead and scale one time down. Now go ahead and set your rotate to 15. So we're just gonna put ours on 15. Um, we're just gonna place a block right here. So tilt one time like that then we're just gonna place one block over here so we're gonna place it right around here and then you guys should have this little gap right here scale down one time like this scale down all the way then go ahead and scale until five studs and now that we got five studs now after this what you guys want to do is go ahead and set this scale down one time and we're gonna be working on the side of the build so go ahead and rotate um, five times on this side with rotate on 15. One, two, three, four, five. Then place your block like somewhere around here. Now that we have this, uh, put your scale onto 0 0.5. Scale down one time. Scale up um, one time two. And there we go. Now we're just going to do the same thing for the other side, but rotate one time. Then place your block. Scale down two times. And there we go. So now what you guys want to do is set your skill to one. Go right here and right here. Then extend out until you guys have something over here. And extend it out until it's the same length as this. I'm going to scale out 0 0.5. We're just going to place it right here. So we're going to do the same for this side. So go ahead and put your skill to one. Scale in one time. Scale in one time. I oh, know two times. Scale on 0 0.5 and scale out until it's like right here. So my studs are on 9.5. Now we're going to fill in this gap. So go ahead and place a block right here. Put your scale on 1 and we're just going to scale down one time. Then go ahead and scale all the way down. Scale to the side. Scale to the side. And we're just going to scale this side in and this side in. So now you have it filled. Now we're going to be making like the walls of the jet ski. So go ahead and place a block right here. Then scale in one time and scale all the way down. Scale all the way back to there. Then go ahead and put your rotate on a 15 again. 
and we're actually going to match rotation actually and we're going to place a block right here we're going to scale like this scale down now merge it like this let's hit the same over here we're going to go one in one in scale all the way over here just like that then we're just going to do something over here we're going to set our scale uh match rotation to none and we're just going to place a block right here we're going to scale it one time in like this and we're just going to have it like that now that you have this we're just going to go ahead and put our scale to 0 0.5 and we're just going to scale all the way thin like this and there we go now we're going to get our plastic block and we're just going to put our scale to one and then we're just going to tilt one time like that but before that let's find the middle there's the middle so you guys just want to go one block um over to the middle we're gonna go scale right here go one block over and then we have that so now go ahead and scale down on this scale down like that make sure nothing's touching the titanium put your scale onto one and scale out like this and you guys just want this a little bit more past this part there we go we're going to be making some boosters so we're just going to be placing a block right here and a block right here now we're going to put our scale onto 0 0.5 and we're going to scale down on each side like that we're going to put our scale back to one and we're going to extend this a little bit more out like this and then we're just going to go over here put our scale onto 0 0.1 and we're going to get this titanium block and scale in one time and do the same for this side and there we go now that we have that put your rotate onto 45 degrees and put your move on to 0 0.5 rotate two times and tilt once we're just going to be placing a block right there we're going to put our scale to one we're going to scale all the way over here we're going to scale down scale all the way down and we're just going to scale over here and you guys should have something like this we're going to do the same for this side but we're just going to rotate two times and we're just going to place one right there. Scale down. Scale all the way down. Scale in and scale in. Then disconnect it all the way over here. Then just go ahead and scale these black blocks one time in on each side. So it wouldn't be touching the plastic. Now we're just going to be going ahead and getting our handlebar. So we're going to put our move onto one. We're going to place a block right here. We're going to scale our thing to 0 0.5, scale in one time, scale all the way. And then we're just going to scale until we have our handlebar shape. And we have it right here. So then just go ahead and uh, go ahead and make your handlebar. It could be any size. And there we go. Then we're just going to be going ahead and placing our torches to make the fire. So go ahead and place one over here. We just rotate onto 90 degrees. We're going to rotate it into here. You guys should have it facing into the jet ski like that. Now we're going to add a thruster for the extra boost. So we're going to come over here, add it right here. We're just going to put on match rotation and place it like that. And now that we have this, we can place our car seat. So we're just going to place it over here and we're just going to place it just like this. You guys should have something like this. Now we're just going to go ahead and delete the pole. We are basically done with this whole thing. You guys can paint this however you guys want. But we are going to get into binding. So go ahead and get your wrench tool. Um, bind this to the car seat and do it again. Left, put it as any key that you are not going to press. So I'm going to do it as this dash button, which I'm not going to press. As right, put it on W. We're going to add a little bit of touch ups with the screwdriver. We're going to select this right here. And we're going to go ahead and put the speed as 1. And then we're just going to put the servo angle as 20. Then for these servos, just select both of them. We're going to put the servo torque to green and that's basically it for these servos. Now with the screwdriver tool, select all and then deselect the outer wheels, then turn collision off. Now that you guys have this, the last step to do is turn everything else transparent. So just go ahead and select everything except the dust ski and turn it transparent. That way you guys can control it. So we're just going to select everything. And we missed a little block right here. Let's go ahead and transparency that. And there we go. So now just go ahead and save your jet ski. I'm just going to save it in this slot. And to set it up, all you have to do is select all. 
an anchor and that's basically it you guys have your working jet ski and as you guys can see it goes up as you guys do this and you guys have the extra speed boost if you guys want so we're just gonna oh we're just gonna go over here and we have the extra speed boost with the jet ski and you guys can just paint this however you guys want so anyways guys that will be all for the today's video i hope you guys enjoy this jet ski go ahead and have fun with it and roam around the map and anyways i'll see y'all later